Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving 46 permutation. We are given an integer array nums of distinct integers and we have to return all the possible permutations. Now let's take this example here. On the first iteration, we have got three choices. We can either choose one or two or three. Similarly, since we have already chosen one, now we have two choices left. We can either use two or we can use three. Same here. And the last one, it's pretty straightforward. It's one. So this decision tree gives us a clear picture of how things will look. This is what we will return. Building this looks very easy, but writing the logic for this is pretty tricky. Now let's discuss the backtracking solution. In the first iteration, we have given three choices. We can either include this one that way we will have one here or we can backtrack back and use the other two this is two or backtrack again and use the third element which is three here and since we don't have any elements left let's move on we have two and three left here now we have option to either include this two so it will be one two or we will backtrack here and use the other element which is three now if you see we have one element left which is three here and two here so we can pretty much add three so we are following a pattern here which is we are iterating through each of the elements here and for each of the elements we are adding one character and then going back and adding another character and this is the process that we are repeating for pretty much every character in the list that's the core logic that our backtracking helper function will follow so now let's implement this backtracking solution we can start by defining our result variable now we will need our helper function which is backtrack this will take two inputs one is our path which is nothing but the array and a set to keep track of elements that we added let's call it used and now the very first base case if path dot length matches our nums dot length then we can add elements to our result variable and then we can just return from here now what we said was we will iterate over our nums so and then one more base case if we have already used this index then we can just continue loop I mean we don't need to recompute it so now let's add this to our set and then what we said was we will We'll push each character to our path and then we will recursively call our backtrack function. Now we can remove the element which we just added and we can remove that index from our set as well. And this completes our backtrack helper function. Now let's call this backtrack with empty array and our set. And once this completes, our result will be populated. So we can just return this one mistake right here. Now let me run this. Yep, it works. Let me submit this. Yep, it does work. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you so much for watching.